It's time for The Clash. Now, despite receiving a full apology, Harry and Meghan are still hell-bent on destroying Jeremy Clarkson's career. And it appears the Sussex's trademark lack of grace has caused the Grand Tour star to regret his apology. Eagle-eyed fans spotted that he'd subtly liked a tweet suggesting he had caved into the woke and should never have bowed to the prince and his partner in the first place. And the nation's leading journalists seem to agree, with Star Daily Mail columnist Sarah Vine arguing it's not about someone who has made a bad mistake, apologising to those offended and everyone moving on in the hope of doing better. It's about cancel culture and a seemingly insatiable need for revenge. So, with his future at Amazon and ITV already in doubt, despite his apology, should Jeremy Clarkson fight back against being cancelled at the behest of Meghan and the rabid Sussex squad? Let me know your thoughts by emailing me at dan at gbnews.uk or tweet me at gbnews. You can vote in our Twitter poll. But here now to debate this topic. I am joined by the aforementioned... Sarah Vine and star of The Apprentice and political commentator Joanna Jaju. So, Sarah Vine, look, you were prepared uh, to stick your head above the parapet and actually say, while you don't agree with what Clarkson said, and actually it doesn't sound like you're a massive fan of Clarkson, this idea that he's been cancelled for what he said is actually quite chilling. Yes, I think what Clarkson wrote about Meghan Markle was really horrible, actually, and completely out of order. And I I don't think it should have ever got past the editors. And that was a big mistake. But he did apologise. And I genuinely think that if someone apologises, then it's worth accepting that apology on the basis that, you know, we all make mistakes. Everyone says things that are stupid or wrong occasionally, and it doesn't invalidate your entire existence. And my slight problem with the, with the, the response of the Sussexes was quite sort of ungracious and mealy mouth. Mm. They basically said, thanks for apologising, but actually we hate you and everything you do and you know it's not good enough and it's never we're never going to accept it and that's just well you know if that, if that happens then the world will just grind grind to a halt i just think i just think it's you know, it feels to me like they what they really want is to see him totally defenestrated and to lose his yes. career and to be humiliated and and you know whether or not you like jeremy clarkson lots of people do he's not really my cup of tea i don't see why the man should be completely cancelled for doing something that he has admitted was a mistake has apologized for twice um let's just all move on and don't you think sarah the way that the sussexes have reacted to the clarkson apology should actually be a real lesson to king charles who yeah. we're told is considering reconciliation after prince harry demanded an apology from him in another interview mm. over the weekend uh, with one of his best mates in the daily telegraph because to me what it shows is that they're not going to stop and an apology. They're not going to end their campaign of trying to destroy the royal family if Charles apologises, because for them, this is actually about vengeance. Yes, it's about it's a mission. They have they're on a mission to rebuild the royal family in their image, what they consider to be acceptable. They want to. It's like the it's like the dissolution of the monasteries. They want to totally reform it. They want to burn it down and then build it back in their image. And again, you know, you may or may not agree with what they want, but the truth is that that can't happen. And 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 the king. The, he, the, Harry and Meghan are pushing and pushing and pushing. And if he gives in, he's going to lose everything that he stands for. And that would be wrong. I mean, he could apologise to Harry in the capacity, in his capacity as a father, because I suppose that you could argue that as a father, he wasn't perhaps the best father he could have been. But as king, I think he has to stand his ground because there's nothing to be gained from it. I don't think there's anything that he could really do for Harry and Meghan that would satisfy mm. their desire for no, revenge. No. And look, very few parents are perfect. Well, apart from my own, I have to say that, but they really are perfect. <laughs> but, but I have to be honest, having read Spare, I actually came away mm. thinking, 
Charles was a pretty good dad. <laughs> you know, there were lots well, of examples. Also, of times also when spare, I was like, is, what? spare is also full of some really unpleasant insults as well. Yes. Um, some of them aimed at women. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but, but, you know, he's quite unpleasant about some people in the media. And, you know, he, he doesn't hold back. And I don't think he's going to apologize for any of that. I mean, the, the thing is, is that basically, unless you conform to his worldview, then he won't accept you at all. And I just think that rigid mindset is very destructive mm. and counterproductive because it doesn't help anyone, it doesn't help him, and it doesn't help anyone at all. It just makes it no. everyone just digging their heels in. No, maybe he should apologise for calling me a sad little man and destroying well, my <laughs> mental health. <laughs> Joanna Jaju, you're here to respond. What Sarah got wrong? Well, I think a couple of things, actually. Um, I think that we should be clear about exactly what the Sussexes did, Sussexes did say in their statement um, and the, the things that they had a problem with, with Jeremy Clarkson. One of those was the fact that Jeremy didn't bother to actually write a letter of apology to Meghan. He wrote it to Harry, which, which kind of echoes some of the misogynistic kind of tone that he kind of began with when he was spoken about Meghan anyway. And then the second thing was the acknowledgement that the fact that Jeremy Clarkson, this isn't his first interview, Incident. It's also not kind of recognizing that he's had previous things that he said. And I quote, you know, from the one show in November um, in 2000, uh, 2011, uh, speaking on the public sector workers taking a, um, a strike, he said, I'd have them all shot. I would have them taken outside and executed um, in front of their families. So I think that, you know, it's very clear that this is something that Jeremy Clarkson has a tendency of doing. Joanna, well, Joanna, Joanna, have you heard of something, uh, three words, which maybe you don't have, very few people on the left have it. It's something called sense of humour. Sense of humour, talking about having somebody, having public sector workers. Well, he didn't mean it. Joanna, he didn't mean it. You must understand he didn't actually mean it. Just like he wasn't actually proposing for Meghan to be paraded through the streets of England naked and let members of the public throw excrement at her. He has an, he has an enhanced style of humour. Now, you might not like it, but just because you don't like it, does that mean he should be cancelled? Words have consequences. Jeremy Clarkson is a public figure and he's had a long enough career to know where the line okay. is. Any decent okay. human being uh, knows where Joanna, the line is. Joanna, were you speaking out against Joe Brand uh, when she suggested that my colleague Nigel Farage uh, should have battery acid chucked all over him? I had, I mean, I wasn't invited to do an interview. No, you weren't, were you? Me, you weren't, listen, you weren't. And was her career about, impacted, about, Joanna? Let's just answer my question. Was her career about, impacted? About, at the BBC or Channel 4? Sorry, can I just make this point, Dan? If somebody had asked me Well, no, me you can answer Joe, my question. I didn't hear your question. I just want to make Was her point. career impacted at Channel 4 or the BBC? And if it wasn't, then that's wrong. I'm not here to just... This isn't about just Jeremy Clarkson. I don't have a problem with just Jeremy Clarkson. I think that if you're in a public facing role you have a responsibility and in this case jeremy clarkson should be cancelled joe brand should be cancelled no, not I, about whether it's right but or sarah left. vine but sarah vine no, isn't this no, just no, awful no. sarah vine isn't this just awful because it is proof that actually the left do just want to cancel people and harry and megan talk all the time about compassion and forgiveness now we've had to forgive harry time and again nazi uh uniform scandal calling one of his army colleagues the p-word uh posing naked in vegas he's been forgiven a million times but yet he has no forgiveness in his heart no this is true but i i i, I do think that you know you brought up the joe brand thing i mean she's a comedian and, mm. you know, comedy is all about pushing boundaries and saying yeah. things that are very close to the wind. And that's what make people make that's what makes people laugh. And that's how humans work. Yeah. And I think that Jeremy Clarkson is an entertainer. He's not really yeah. a public figure. He's a, he's a, he's he's got this persona of the sort of pub bore blokey, you know, a bit sort of like I said in my column, a dinosaur, you know, rude and all of those. That's that's who he is. And, you know, it, it's. It's not, you know, of course he's not going to, not suggesting that we do any of those things. He's just, he, th that's how he entertains. I mean, there are other comedians. I mean, there was a comedian who said about me that having sex with me was worse than having sex with a dead pig. I mean, oh. really, in, a, in, a, in The Guardian. So, you know, these things get, so you just have to, I mean, 
Yes, it's not a very nice thing to say, and maybe that's true, but I just, you know, I'm not going to I don't believe people that's people true, Sarah Vine. That, you know, I don't I, believe that's true. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose I come from, a, I mean, I'm quite uh, tough in the sense that people yeah, yeah, say yeah. lots of things about me that are not true and not nice. Yeah. And, you know, I sort of see it as the price of being who I am. You know, I'm a journalist, yeah. and so, you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You can't really get upset everyone every time someone disagrees with you or says something horrible about you. And that's just the way the world is. And, and I, I, But I do think, go back to the thing that Clarkson apologised. I think that what you said about him emailing um, he said that he had emailed Meghan and Harry. So maybe he just had one email address and that was what he sent it to. I don't know the details of that. I'm sure that he, I, I mean, I don't think even Clarkson would apologize to a woman via her husband, but maybe he did. But, I, you know, that that I think is also not yeah. great. But I, what I'm saying is, is that people should be allowed to regret what they've done, to apologize and to move on. And it, it behoves, I think, the Sussexes to be gracious about this because they are in a position of power and they do hold huge power. Yeah. And, and huge sway. you know, I, I just don't think, you know, what do they want for him to be living in a cardboard box on the street? I don't understand what their aimed game is here. Why, how does it, how does it benefit them if he is cancelled? I don't understand. Why, why no. would you want that? I mean, I, Indeed. you know, but they clearly do. They clearly do, and I think it says a lot about them.